This is an ABC News special report. Now reporting, David Muir. Good afternoon. We're coming on the air at this hour with breaking news regarding President Biden's son, Hunter Biden. ABC News has learned that Hunter Biden has just been indicted on felony gun charges. Three counts. We have been told that count one is a false statement in purchase of a firearm. Count two, a false statement also related to information required to be kept by federal firearms licensed dealers. And the third count is possession of a firearm by a person who is an unlawful user or addicted to a controlled substance. Again, three counts, gun charges. Let's bring in our chief justice correspondent, Pierre Thomas. Because, Pierre, uh, as you know, Americans who've been following this story uh, had heard our reporting uh, in recent months. There had been a plea deal in the work, crumbled in the 11th hour. And now, not long afterward, the special counsel, David Weiss, who was appointed special counsel by the attorney general, Merrick Garland, uh, in this case, uh, been investigating for several years after word of a plea deal. And then it crumbled. Now come these federal charges, three counts for Hunter Biden. David, Hunter Biden is seeing the consequences of that plea deal falling apart. It's in tatters, and today he stands uh, indicted on three felony counts. And it all stems from the fact that he was addicted to crack cocaine. Uh, according to prosecutors, at one point in 2018, he was using crack cocaine every 15 minutes. And later that year, they claimed that he walked into a gun store in Delaware and filled out a form to buy a Colt revolver. And in that form, he stated that he was not a user of drugs, that he was not addicted to any kind of narcotics. That was not true. Uh, and today, he's been charged with those felony counts in, relating to, in relation to being an illegal possession of a gun, David. Now, as you pointed out, this was all a part of the plea deal involving his taxes not paid, and this was a diversion deal by which if he, you know, had agreed to that plea deal, he would not have been prosecuted on this gun charge. Uh, now, the special uh, counsel continues to investigate uh, his tax situation and his financial dealings abroad. But he, today, he's now indicted on felony gun charges, David. And again, just to help guide our viewers through this, and we have been reporting on it uh, quite extensively here, there are two issues at play that we have reported on Pierre. First, uh, the taxes that Hunter Biden owed uh, that have since been paid back, though he faces potentially charges involving those taxes. And then these separate gun charges, which as of that plea deal, uh, it was believed by Hunter Biden's team that this part of it at least uh, would go away. Uh, when that plea deal fell apart, now we have seen what's happened instead. Uh, the tax issue is still unresolved, uh, but now we have three counts on the gun issue itself. Absolutely. And his attorneys would maintain that they believe that this uh, diversion agreement regarding the gun was still intact. Obviously, the special counsel, David Weiss, does not believe that is the case uh, and went forward uh, with these charges. Uh, uh, I think Hunter Biden's team had hoped that the judge might intervene at some point and say that uh, that diversion agreement was still intact. But clearly, the special counsel moving forward with this case. And now, again, if convicted, he faces up to 10 years maximum in prison. Now, his attorneys have pointed out that these are not the kind of cases that the Justice Department typically brings, a single case involving filling out a form uh, illegally, if you will, that typically to get a gun charge like this, something else would be attached to it, like drug dealing or some kind of crime of violence. They believe that this is highly unusual and they will make that case now, obviously, in court. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.